You were you were the primary breadwinner in that household, correct? Absolutely, right. From time to time, would your would your daughter contribute money? Absolutely. She always gave what she could, always. And what about Mr. Roker? Did he provide? In the beginning, the first two months, he definitely did. So what do you think happened after those couple of months? I think he realized he had a cushion. I think he realized that, you know, I was going to let him stay there and I wasn't going to ask for much because I never really did. Just bring little groceries here and there. But it was always an excuse about the groceries. Like I said, something always happened to the groceries. They never made it to my house. So M Mrs. Williams... From what I'm hearing from you, it sounds like you're suggesting that Mr. Roker got very comfortable with the situation. He got... Listen, he would be there now if he could be. I can't even do what I want to do because you all up in my business, all up in my house. So now I've got to put my stuff to the side and deal with whatever they got going on. That's too much for me. He done played so many games, and I know all the games. I, you know, my daughter got to learn. I got three daughters, all grown. They got to learn. I know the games. Like I told him, when I seen it, I told him, I said, listen, you can't hustle a hustler, son. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. You are not going to play with me. So I'm going to let my daughter play her hand, her cards, until she recognizes that you're a joker, you're a clown. And so what I'm saying is the time he got in the house, I cooked, I took care of him like a son. Of course he got comfortable, um, Judge Starr. He got comfortable.